Hello everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a video on how to get a list of the property names that are attached to a certain object in the game. So like if you had an enemy that wanted to scan a different object to see what type of properties it had, it could just call this function that would do that. Um, Alright, I'm just going to get started. So let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender Render to Blender Game. Drag this out and do templates, Python, and then game logic simple. Delete this portion right here. And hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And rename this to scripts.py. Alright. Now that we have that, just add an always sensor. Add a mouse sensor. Name this mouse sensor as click. Click tap and minimize this. Add a Python controller. Connect it like this. And what we're going to do now is add our scripts down inside of our Python controller. Drag this out. And add just a number of properties like this. Just hit the add game property. Let's define our click sensor as equal to const that sensors click. Like this. And let's have it so that if click is positive, we're going to print. Well, we're actually first what we're going to do is define a variable called prop names is going to equal own.get property names. So it's going to call a function, get the list of the properties. I want to print prop names to the console. So if I go, if I um, minimize this, you can open your console by doing window and then toggle system console. We should see every time I click, it's going to print prop, prop zero, and prop one. And as you can see right here, those are the names of our three properties. But let's say we want to get these for a different object in our game. All right, let's do spacebar and then add a new cube. This new cube will be dragged over here. And I'll add just like maybe a bunch of properties like this. All right, let's rename this new cube as let's say cube, all lowercase. And once we have that, what we're going to do is actually just define the current scene really quick. So let's do scene is going to equal bg.logic.getCurrentScene. Current scene like this. And let's define cube as equal to scene.objects cube like this. And instead of doing own.get property names, we're going to do cube.get property names. So we should now see if I hit play and click a bunch of times, that list of properties is a lot longer because that second cube has a lot more properties. But still, we have a list of all the properties. And if you're wondering how this might be useful, I would say it would be useful if you're having an object that's analyzing data from a different object. For instance, like if you wanted to have like a, a more sophisticated AI or something like that or enemy, this could be how it could be used. All right. Well, I hope you guys found this useful. There's a script.